its pride in the capital city. Happy Pride! Happy pride. Hartford Pride Festival returned to downtown for its 15th year. Officials say it's important for the city to host a pride event because for many years that was not the case. We just built a coalition that the city did not have any pride for many years and we just wanted to make sure that we were inclusive with everyone and bring them in. Thousands took to Church Street Saturday to celebrate equality and inclusivity with live performances and vendors. For many, pride is a way to connect with their community. We are too divided, so anything I could do to come out here and show joy, show pride, show love to my people, I'm all for that because it brings us as a whole together. The festival comes as the state is beginning to market Connecticut as a safe place for LGBTQ plus people in states like Florida that have laws targeting their community. I love that we're marketing to people that Connecticut is a queer place, that it's a safe space for people. Murray says while she understands Connecticut is far from perfect, she hopes state leaders will prioritize LGBTQ plus youth. We still have issues in this state. Even though we're doing better, we still have issues and we need to focus on our youth because there are tomorrow. A few miles away and just days before Pride was set to begin, a Pride walkway was defaced with homophobic slurs at the Emanuel Congregational Church. Police are still trying to find out who is responsible. But for Ruth Murray, that's why Pride is so important. We get to express ourselves. I get to express myself. I get to wear a Pride flag. You know, I can't do that every day. Hartford Pride continues into Sunday with a drag brunch on Pratt Street. Reporting in Hartford, Jake Garcia, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.